Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in a field, the which when a man hath found he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Matthew 13, verse 44. Joy and Ling are a newlywed couple who have recently graduated from Better Way Foundation, a light or lay institute for global health training center in Ilocos Norte. They recently started a ministry outpost in the Philippines. That is, until disaster struck. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me get you up to speed on who Ling and Joy are first. Long, long ago, in a country far, far away, Babelith Perennius, a.k.a. Ling, went to South Korea, where I first met her while she was doing her tour of duty as a Thousand Missionary Movement missionary at a church in Busan. I was introduced to her by Clarence Hodges, a friend of mine and acting lay pastor for the foreigners at the time. She had a presence about her that seemed to be the atmosphere of heaven. After some time, she felt the Lord calling her to do full-time ministry work, so healing and health ministry training was on her mind. At first, she thought to go to Anon, but upon a recommendation, she went to Better Way Foundation, that light school, instead. During her time there, she learned to overcome self and sin, clinging to Christ, and growing a victorious character full of faith in Jesus Christ. During her time there, she also realized that her funds to enroll for the next term were running low, and she reached out to God. He showed her mercy and provided just what she needed in time, and she was sustained throughout her training. She made a lot of friends and inspired a lot of people. And when Ling was a child, going back in time a little bit, her father left her and her five sisters. She hasn't been back for at least 20 years. This left Ling with a bitter taste in her mouth that all men must be the same. They all just leave, just like her father. But God in his mercy has brought men of integrity into her life to renew her spirit and to demonstrate to her the character of her heavenly father. Well, while she was there in the Philippines studying for ministry, Joy, her batchmate from the 13th batch, began to volunteer at this campus. During one of her lessons in the training session, she shared part of her life story and her mind regarding her father's disappearance. Upon hearing of her struggles and seeing her tears, Joy prayed for her father that he would return to their family. After some time apart, they met again and began to teach, nurture, and care, and, and love those whom God placed in their care. Life was difficult without a stipend or any sustenance. They had to learn how to depend entirely on Christ. Traveling to their hilltop home, where the roads are rough and the air is thin, Joy, Ling's newlywed husband, carries water, cement, gravel, wood, and other building materials to construct a home and ministry in the Philippine hills. When the sun's up, the weather is scorching, and when it rains, it pours. God has been faithfully sustaining their progress and supplying them with water, sending rain in due season to answer their prayers. Their humble gardening endeavors were thriving, even without much water, so they were even able to submit their first fruits to the Lord with joy and thanksgiving. The four posts for their structure being cemented firmly in place by Joy, her husband, the man with the big heart and the willing spirit, who also is taking his first steps in the path of Jesus, the master builder, were just the beginning, but set the stage for better things to come and served as a visible reminder of God's providence and that his hand was with them, encouraging them to move forward in faith. Each Sabbath, the Ling and Joy duo spent their time and energy giving medical ministry lectures in the afternoons, sharing with the church how to build an enduring relationship with God, how to pray, be modest, have faithfulness in marriage, do simple home remedies, hydrotherapy, massage demonstrations, and more. The course from the Lay Institute for Global Health Training, or LIGHT course, gave them the tools to show people how to care for their own health and the health of their family members, simply and naturally. They've had their ups and downs, triumphs and learning experiences, 
and all seemed well as they settled into their new ministry routine. And then it happened, just a week before Christmas. The first Category 5 equivalent Super Typhoon to hit the Philippines in the month of December since 2016. Typhoon Odette would ravage many homes, sending Philippine Red Cross emergency teams and other humanitarian organizations scrambling to meet the mounting reports of widespread devastation across the islands and coastal communities. For believing newlyweds Ling and Joy, the outpost they had established from humble beginnings was hit hard and damaged. Now they begin at zero again. Difficulties have arisen as their water source for their garden is not present, and the food that they have planted in their ministry garden since the storm is failing in the heat. Prayer for the garden is requested for their survival and that of the ministry. They believe with God all things are possible. They hope to rebuild and establish an organic garden to sustain their ministry and a church school. The mission is to create value in the lives of the community by demonstrating practical country living on their Philippine homestead. Working alone in the mission field, even if it is home for you, is never easy. Sometimes reaching the people nearest us is the most difficult. Joy and Ling believe that the day when buying and selling will be obsolete and people will live in country tabernacles is just around the corner. They are committed to serving the Lord Jesus Christ, their Savior, and are trusting that the Lord will awaken the true believers to work hand in hand with one purpose and goal to make their dream a reality and finish the work. Here's what they need. This newlywed couple has just finished missionary school. They've experienced a tragic storm that blew all their belongings away. They've stayed with their in-laws and are hungry to begin living again. Help them build their vision, the ministry of their dreams, the one that God has placed on their hearts. In that area where there are three post remain, it was awarded in 18 before, and it was wiped out also by typhoon, and uh, also that four concrete posts, we also st uh, started it by faith that it could be our multi-purpose hall where uh, it has also two treatment rooms where we could teach uh, young people, which is we already introduced to them about medical missionary work, and uh, we teach them how to massage, how to do hydrotherapy, and also how we teach them about spiritual things like the uh, spirit, of spirit of prophecy and about uh, his home, everything, uh, sanctuary, and also uh, some. Uh, practical uh, work education like baking we could also some space to bake and by God's grace we could have also our, our own uh, oven that where we could bake uh, healthy breads and we could introduce to our brethren and it will be extended to the community and also this place will be an extended garden in the future from here down there to the other side which it has a bamboo and uh, if God would allow if he will not still come uh, I will, our plan also where we could build a livelihood center training center where uh, we could also cater some training that be conducted by the government and it's also an, an opportunity where we could also introduce uh, about health we could reach them out through health by introducing to them healthy foods so if god would allow and now we have started to plant in this area six 
sets of red cardinal grapes by God's grace it would flourish uh, he would allow to bear it fruits and so it multiply it uh, by, by his grace also and we had we plant also other variety of soybeans so we could um, have our own beans we could also manufacture our own soy milk tofu uh, yogurt or whatever uh, product we could that is made out of soybeans so uh, I don't know how the Lord will sustain us but we started this place according to his word by faith uh, he would touch those people uh, we have temporarily barricaded this area because time to time people are passing by that he would, they would not be also be tempted to to enter here because they love this place they love the view because it was, uh, the town was overlooking and you will be refreshed when you were here so uh, this area is about an, uh, one hectare this is the, the the land of my forefathers in my mother's side as the lord leads us in the book of uh, isaiah that he would bring us into our forefathers land so we started here uh, last year and by faith also this is the outcome and now it was, it was, it was devastated by typhoon so we keep on praying and now the lord will touch the heart of people who have the capacity and ability to extend their blessing because we know that uh, time we welcome that what we have right now, what we possess right now, will no longer be used. As the Lord encourages us that while still there is time to invest everything for God's work, for the advancement of His work, we could invest it now. Where, uh, as the song says, work for the night is coming. So may the Lord will bless continually. Those people who will be touched by the Holy Spirit to extend their blessing of what we have started here. Because here in our, in our place, we don't have any missionary training or even an outpost center. So may God bless you all and thank you for uh, watching this short video that will give you something of what we are doing here. Thank you so much and God bless us all. Thank you very much. This is my husband Joy and Ling, his wife. We praise thee for this opportunity. Once again, thank you and God bless. I am making this video on their behalf and ask you to ask the Lord what resources he has blessed you with that you can send to help this young believing couple out. Now you know, I've helped. You can too. The quickest way to help is to click on the donation link in the description below and pray for this couple as they put their ministry back together again. It will be many months of labor, but with your help, it will be possible. Quick action is needed, so please act now.